Your advantage determines how far you will go in life. To have an advantage is to have upper hand. And God has designed Christianity to be a life of victory. A life where you always had advantage over the enemies. That was why when Jesus was going, Jesus said, one of the things he said, he said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will not leave you what? I will not leave you comfortless. John 14, 26. I will send you another helper. And the one that gives us advantage as Christians is the person of the Holy Spirit. Somebody shout Holy Spirit. And that is why this morning, briefly, we're going to be looking at the person of the Holy Spirit. I want you to understand that the Holy Spirit is not a feeling. The Holy Spirit is not fire. The Holy Spirit is not dove. The Holy Spirit is not water. The Holy Ghost is a person. The Holy Ghost is what? A person. And the truth is that your life as a Christian will be miserable when you don't understand the ministry and the person of the Holy Spirit. When Jesus was with the disciples, Jesus was a comforter to them. Jesus was an assistant to them. Jesus was a supporter to them. But when Jesus was about to go to heaven, he said to the disciples, he said, I will send you another. Another. I want us to read that together. I want to go. John 14, 26. Quickly. But the comforter, which the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my what? In my name. Let's keep reading. He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Whosoever have said unto you. That is your advantage to life. That is what people in the world cannot understand. You stand on the platform where you know all things. Not some. How many? He didn't say he will teach you some things. Sir. He said he's going to teach you all things. Somebody say all. all. Say louder than that. All. That is when we say we have an advantage. That is where we leverage on. That is why I say Christian, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you will live a frustrated life. Your best friend can betray you. I have seen fathers betray their sons. I've seen sons betray fathers. But there is one helper that can never betray you. Jesus said, he said, when I'm going, I'm going to send him to you. Praise the Lord. That is, as a Christian, you can live an ordinary life when you don't have the Holy Spirit. I have seen Christians that you can't trace them being a Christian. Because the very force that gives your life color and power is the Holy Ghost. 